today I'm going to talk about my light kit that I just installed on my Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL. I found this um, on Amazon. And this is um, what I found. Akedo? www.akedo.jp I think is what it says. But I got two LED kits. I think I paid like six ninety nine, I believe, for two. Six ninety nine or eight ninety nine, something like that. Less than ten dollars. So not too bad. It says it's for Traxxas monster trucks, so it should fit, and it did, and it should fit the uh, E Revo too. So and I have bumpers that can actually accommodate LEDs on that one. So we'll see. That'll be next project. That'll be my next project. But for now. I'm going to talk about the Rustler. What you get in the bag is some light buckets and then white LEDs for the front and red LEDs for the back. And the red LEDs are a little smaller, which I wasn't sure about, but I kind of like the way it looks. So I'll have to show you what it looks like on the vehicle. But that's what you get in the bag. And of course, it's all wired up and soldered, and, and of course, you have a connector that'll plug right into your receiver. I have an extension coming out of my receiver, so I just plugged it into the extension. So, yeah. There's the truck. Power up. I'll spin it around here. There's the front. They're kind of offset, but I kind of like that that they're not right in your face. But so you can, yeah, they look pretty good, in my opinion. I don't know if you can see the light buckets because they are powered on. But yeah, there you go. If I angle it, you can. So those are there's the light buckets in the rear. Red LEDs, of course. All right, I'm try not to blind y'all because these are bright. All right, so here's the, kind of go off to the side here, maybe. Okay. Those are the buckets up front, and these are, they'll be bright. Very, very bright. Alright, so go over real quick what you need to do this. Obviously you're gonna need some zip ties, body reamer to cut some holes in the Lexon, Lexon body, a pair of pliers. Diagonal cutters to cut your zip ties and a marker to kind of mark your holes kind of where you want to put your light buckets. So let's get this off. Real quick here. Let me show you kind of how I how I wired this. Here's the extension that I was using, am using. I'll plug that real quick. There we go. All right, let me zoom out again. Okay, so you can see it's all nice and tidy. I like things nice and tidy. So it's all zip tied to the roll cage inside. And that roll cage came in mighty handy for tidying up these wires. 
nothing's moving around. Everything's secure. Don't tighten these zip ties too tight. It's not good for the wires. Just, you know, snug them up so nothing's moving around too much. And I'm trying to angle my LEDs so they kind of point down a little bit in the front and they kind of point kind of in a little bit in the back, kind of point in a little bit because, you know, they, they get all lex on, so it, there's angles and whatnot you got to deal with when it comes to lighting. But yeah. I think it turned out quite nicely. Quite nice. Turned out well. I do say so myself. You see, you can see the light buckets a little better now that I'm not blinding you with these bright LEDs. So that seemed like the best placement for the front. So that um, otherwise you get the lights that you know if you put them out too too far out. It's getting the body kind of is rounded and then you get your 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 lights aren't pointing shining evenly they're kind of shining out to the sides so and you're not getting a nice even beam of light so this was the best placement that I could tell to put these in the back you don't have a whole lot of choice that was the best placement for these because there just isn't a whole lot of choice when you put them in the back so I put them as far in as I could get them but yeah, there she is. Real quick video, nothing too uh, too difficult. As long as you got you know some RC you know tools, you can do this. I mean, really, all you, all you really really need is just you know a Lexon body reamer. Everybody, most people have diagonal cutters, and I mean even scissors would work to cut the zip ties and what have you. So yeah. Pretty cool. Beyond the Blue RC1, hope you enjoyed watching this video and please subscribe.